Alright, what's up guys, uh, Inflex here, and I'm gonna tell you this tutorial on how to uncopyright music in Sony Vegas, um, because maybe you just don't want to use an uncopyright zone, because a lot of them are overused, or you just want to be original, or they're, or maybe you just have this really, um, maybe you would just really, really, really want to use this, uh, copyrighted song, and to test how a song is copyrighted, you can kind of look on iTunes and if it's on iTunes it's copyrighted and the reason I'm showing this is because some people want to get a partner and you can't have copyrighted music on your channel to be too good to be a partner so um you can just search on YouTube on copyrighted music there is a lot um see see right there there's a couple things there's a good one um there's one by I think there's one yeah by AKN he's pretty good about that so uh, you can download those or maybe you just really want to use a copyrighted song this song here is um yeah this song is uh Erase Me by Kid Cudi and so, this is that we're gonna get a tutorial. This tutorial was first made by Zick, by the way. So I call this the Zick trick. Um, yeah. So you wanna do right click on it, properties. Then here, go to, um, see, erase me, um, then go to the method, classic. Um, then we're gonna do, see the pitch strength. You wanna erase the fir that first number after the, um, the point and make that a five. Uh, don't click lock stretch. Don't do that um, because I won't do it. And what this does it actually makes the song a bit higher pitched. But um, so some people might not like this. So if you don't like that, then I guess there's no other way. Um, but well, there probably is another way. But um, it makes it a little bit higher pitched. So some people might not like that. And the reason it does that though is because YouTube has this thing where like plays the video and if it hears anything um if it sounds like it uh then it'll instantly do it and also to check how a song is that ready if you want you can create a second channel and upload more than 30 seconds um of the song and see if it's copyrighted or you can just search it on youtube like let's say erase me by kid cutty and so let's just click some random dude um, as you see, see the name is blue, so it's copyrighted. See right there, copyrighted. So um, that's how you do it. That's what I call the Zick trick. So maybe this can help some of you guys out if you guys want to use copyrighted songs. Um.